Hi, beautiful people. And welcome to the dinner party. Hi, guys. Let me fix this, Lord. Okay. Hi, guys. How are you? It's been a three days. Three days? I haven't seen you guys in three days. Really? It's been that long? How have you guys been? Good, good. Today is Brandon's birthday. Hi, Brandon. I know he watching. Hi, Brandon. Um, you know what? I forgot the thumbnail, so ain't no telling what this is going to look like. I forgot to do this. So I don't know what thumbnail they going to get. I forgot because I'm so excited because it's Brandon's birthday. <laughs> So I know you're watching. So happy birthday, babe. I got your favorite. I got um pepperoni pizza from Little Caesars. I got pepperoni pizza. And I got um Red Mountain Dew to drink. And look what I got you. Let me see if I can squeeze them in. There they go. I got you. Deep. I don't know who that is. But I got you there. Because I know you like you know, so I, It's uh, the big one. The little one and then the extra little one. Happy birthday, babe. So how have you guys been since the last time I saw you? And I got some garlic butter. So you guys been okay? You know it's a birthday party. So I got a whole bunch of pizza in the bag. We didn't, um, Brandon really don't like cake. So I didn't get a cake because he, 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 he'll get cake for his birthday because it's his birthday, but. Uh-oh, he really don't like cake, so I didn't get us any. Um, did y'all go back there and get y'all something to eat? Okay. And this and it's all it's all the same. It's all pepperoni. Y'all, it's so hot today. Mm. It's hot today. It's not even noon. It's 11.45 my time. And it's 78 degrees. With the humidity, the humidity is so high. And it just got done raining and the humidity is still high. Mm -mm. So... Look, that's my plate. I didn't get none on my shirt. Ain't y'all surprised? I'm hungry today. Because I wasn't hungry yesterday. I, I do love the hot weather, but I forget how muggy and humid it can get in Michigan. Like, I forget every winter. I believe I'm going to have to put this up here. Yeah. So the day his birthday. Um, let me see. This day, 15 years ago, I was bringing, nope, I had had him in the morning, about 2.30 in the morning. He was a, he was a little guy too, y'all. He only weighed like five pounds. He was real tiny. I forgot I had the soft. Raw. Yeah. They were just cooking these. Like literally they was coming out of the oven. Then I wiped it off the napkin. But the napkin is meant to catch all, right? But, you know. But they was just cooking these and coming out the oven when I uh, got there. So they real hot and good. There's nothing like hot pizza, boy. Brandon, when you watch the video, Put in the comments who these people are. I don't know none of these people. So put in the comments who they are. 
Y'all, I've been seeing so many people doing Chick-fil-A. I'm so jealous. I don't have a Chick-fil-A. My Chick-fil-A is an hour and a half away from me. The way these people talking about this Chick-fil-A, y'all, I might drive that hour and a half to get some Chick-fil-A. I know y'all like it's chick but I had never had it. And everybody that's doing the videos about it is like, it's so good. I mean, they eating it like they ain't going to eat nothing else for the rest of their life. I got to give me some Chick-fil-A before the summer out. So what's been up? Let me see. What's been up with me? Nothing. <laughs> Enjoying the summer. I'm always amazed. I'm always amazed every year how early they put out the school, back to school stuff. Our kids in in Michigan don't start till after start after the holiday in September. What's the holiday in September? Labor Day. Is it Labor Day? Whatever the holiday is, they don't start till that that following day. Why am I seeing crayons and notebooks right now? I don't want to. I don't want to see crayons and notebooks. I don't want to see backpacks. I don't want to see none of that. They everywhere. And then they're having commercials. Come and get your school supplies. I don't want to come get my school supplies. Red Mountain Dew is the best. But my favorite is the Blue Mountain Dew. Um, the Baja Blast. And then they got an orange one too. The orange one ain't bad either. They didn't, I would have got wings, but guess what? They didn't have none. Like the truck didn't come with the wings, so they didn't have no wings. How did how how you ain't got no wings? Don't forget to like, comment. Subscribe and share. Look at me, it coming. It's coming natural now, huh? I know y'all so proud of me. Because normally I do it and y'all think I'm going to tell y'all something important. I'm going to just tell y'all that. <laughs> hmm, let me tell y'all yesterday. So yesterday, I'm with my sister-in-law. She had to run a couple of errands and was like, come with me. So I was like, okay. So we ran our errands and we decided we're hungry. So we go to the mall to the food court. Right? So we're in the food court. And we go to this place called Yummy Japan. And they cook your stuff like right in front of you. On the grill thing. So. We waiting. And this old lady. In front of us. Is like snapping. On the Asian lady behind the counter. I'm going to tell y'all what she told her. She talking to her. And she said. Didn't I tell you I wanted you to cook my food. And the Asian lady is like. Okay. Okay. But it's only. Two people behind the counter, right? It's the cook and it's the cashier. So the cook had to go over and kind of help the cashier out, wash her hands, go back to cooking, right? The old lady like, didn't I tell you? And she like, yeah, yeah, I, I have to help for a minute and I'm going back, you know? Old lady say to her, get over there and cook my food. I looked at my sister-in-law and I looked at the old lady 
And I looked at my sister-in-law and I told her, I said, I, I, I'll be back. I got to walk away from this. Why do you have to be that mean? Why do you have to be like that to people? Like, I really wanted to ask her, why would you talk to her like that? And the Asian lady like, okay, okay. And I wanted to ask the lady like, why would you say that? What if you were at a job and somebody, you promised somebody something, but then you got to do what you promised them to do and something else to help out your coworker. And somebody said, you, what I tell you, that's not your boss. Like, I don't understand people like that. That bothered me. I mean, it bothered me where it almost brought me to tears because I just wanted to know, lady, why are you that mean? Why would you talk to her like that? And I'm talking to my sister-in-law. I said some very colorful words really loud and walked away. So we come back. I, come, I get up there. I get my food, right? Because I'm loud at this point because that don't make no sense, right? So we standing behind the old lady again. I'm like, Lord have mercy, us, me and this old lady, right? She telling the aging lady, cook it hard, cook it hard. Now, mind you, it's stir-fried vegetables, it's chicken, and it's rice. I was this close to asking the old lady, how do you cook Asian food hard? It ain't fried chicken. It ain't fried pork chops. How do you cook Asian food hard? She not frying nothing. She not deep frying nothing. Like, sometimes I believe people just want to be mean because maybe they're being mistreated or something at the house. So they take it out on the public. It took all I had. My sister-in-law had to grab my hand because I was really finna ask this old lady, how can you cook rice and stir-fried chicken and veggies hard? Like, even the Asian lady was like, kind of looking at her like, what? So the little Asian lady let her taste the food or whatever. And she was like, a little harder. I was like, can you give us our food before you cook her food hard? Because I don't, I don't want hard food. <laughs> what is that? People like that need somebody with them at all times when they go in the public. Because they need somebody to be like, don't be like that. Don't say that. And, and this old lady, old enough, I know in my mind she got grandkids. If you talk to strangers like that, I feel bad for your grandkids and your family. They probably get it worse because you know them. <laughs> my sister-in-law, she's so cute. <laughs> She's like, walk away, walk away, walk away, go, go, go. Because I must have had uh -huh, a look on my face like, what, what? Mm, mm, mm. You guys let me know if you have ever worked in the service industry, especially like fast food or something, and had a very rude customer, and what did you do about it? And to me, rude customers and fast food joints, that's kind of silly. But I guess she felt comfortable because we could actually see them cooking the food or whatever. But, dude, like, what <laughs> What if it had been me serving you and you said, what I tell you, get back there and make my food. Can you imagine what I would have said? I can't. <laughs> have somebody to get like they a dog and then I figured out watching that sometimes I'm sorry y'all yeah people like me don't need to experience situations like that because I figured out yesterday after I came home certain words trigger me get what I like words like get anything that's really demanding like that or what I say or what or words like that trigger me and I and I want to say something even though you're not talking to me that word get 
I want to tell that lady to get. To, I ain't gonna say what I want to say, but I wanted to tell her to get somewhere. Oh, guys, tell me your trigger word. Everybody has trigger words. Everybody has stuff that will trigger them instantly. Guys, tell me. What is it? Is it trick? Do you have words? Do you have situations? I have words. Words, like certain words. And I'm so glad a lot of people don't know what the words are. But certain words will trigger me and I will say something even if you're not talking to me. And I think my sister-in-law knew that. That's why she was like, Erica, just walk away. Just walk away. Because as soon as I heard it, I was like, what she said? What the poop she said? And my sister-in-law was looking like, Ooh, she ain't talking to you, though. She ain't talking to you. And, you know, for years I had, um, now a couple of my subscribers are, you know, Asian. And for years I had a friend that was from Vietnam. For years, maybe two or three years, I had a friend when I worked at the nail shop that uh, was from Vietnam, you know what I mean? And we became really close, had a lot of good conversations and stuff. So I think when you know people personally from a culture and to see somebody else be mean to them, I think that triggers you too. My mama trigger word is what? Her trigger word is what? If you look at her, if she asks you something or something, and you be like, what? That's a dude. You ain't going to never say what to her again ever in your adult life, your reconnation life. If you come back and y'all know each other, you going to remember that and not say what to my mama no more. <laughs> Woo, because she from old, you know, back in the day. If you say what to her, you might as well cut off one of her ears or something because she gone. Woo! Ooh. And if you got parents, what are your parents' trigger words? Yeah. <laughs> or like your siblings or what are they, not only you, but like your family, like if your mom or your dad or your siblings have a trigger word, my mama's trigger word is what? I'm going to tell y'all something funny. So, my mom, she takes care of my granny, right? <laughs> I'm glad I was over there that day because I started laughing. My mom talking to my granny. I'm a granny kind of like ignoring my mom. Like, yeah, she ignoring her. Like, totally, right? But my granny like 91. You know? So, uh, my mom keep talking, and she like, do you hear me? Do you hear me? You know? <laughs> and my grandma like, what? And my mom look, and I look. I said, oh, she didn't say the word. And my grandma literally started laughing, and my mama was heated. Y'all, she, <laughs> she was heated. She was heated. She was so bad, she had to walk away, and I didn't help. I didn't help because I was laughing because I knew she was heated. I was laughing so hard. She looked at me and was like, shut up, which made me laugh even more. I kind of pick with my mom because it's funny because little, little stuff irritates her. <laughs> so, I, and I know what it is and I'll pick with her. And I know me laughing at what my grandma said. What? And she said, my grandma said it just like that. What? My mama face and my mom is fair skinned like Brandon. My mama face turned every shade of red ever made. Ever made. If that was fun, and the more I laughed, the angrier she got. And I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, that was funny. Mm, mm, mm. We got one. I guess y'all like, what is you doing? I thought I could. Never mind. I thought I could angle it more. I'm going to eat this last piece, and we're going to wrap it up. Um, tomorrow is Wednesday, so I will be going live tomorrow. It won't be my cocktail hour after dark. 
I'll be going um, live during the day. It's a three. It's a trio. Trio. Threesome. No, I can't say threesome. Mm, it's three of us. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to put it, but I can't say. Okay. It's three of us. Um, from one to three is Willie Will Eats. From three to five, it'll be myself. And from five to seven, from five to seven, five to seven, five to seven. Y'all know what that is. Selling. We gonna sell five of it. <laughs> from <laughs> from five to seven, it'll be the Harley Clan. So, if you catch Willie Will Eats, you just follow. Like the Harley Clan said, you just follow the train. Just follow the train. Um, Willie Will will be doing a live mukbang, and he live in New York. I can't wait to see what he eating. Ooh, I can't wait. I'm going to be doing an unboxing. Y'all, I want to, it's right there. Y'all can't see it, but it's right there. I want to open it so bad. I want to open it so bad. But I'm not going to do it. I'm going to save it for y'all. And the Harley Clan will be giving away, she'll be having a giveaway. I forget what the look that, she'll be having a giveaway. She got some great stuff. So if you, you know, want to tune in to that, we would so appreciate it. And then... Saturday, Saturday or Sunday, I'm going to say that. Saturday or Sunday, we'll be back to our cocktail hour after dark. <laughs> we have so much fun in them. Y'all, please catch the cocktail hour after dark. I cannot talk today. Please catch the cocktail hour after dark. Normally, I try to do them on the weekends, and they start at 10 o'clock. Last, what was it, Saturday or Sunday? I forgot when I went live. I normally try to do two hours. I, my time. I started at 10. I didn't get off till 12. We have a lot of fun in my in my lives. So, if you guys want to catch that on the weekend, I would appreciate that. Mmm. I guess you, you guys, like, you asking us to do a lot of stuff. I'm sorry. Hmm? And if you want for cocktail hour on Saturday or Sunday, drop some topics down below. Um, My cocktail hour is 21 and up. You can't be a little kid. You, you can't even really be 18 or 19. 21 and up. So I want you guys to drop some topics down below. Kind of keep them clean and I can dissect them in my brain. And we cover a lot of grown up things. It's pretty cool. Our lineup's gonna be cool. When y'all see what I got, I'm gonna stop talking about it before I try to open it. I'm gonna talk about it before I open it. Because y'all know I will open, y'all know I will open up stuff. I don't care. I'm opening it up, especially after our last unboxing, and I held my little thing upside down. I learned my lesson from that. <laughs> I learned my lesson from that. But I ain't gonna open. I ain't gonna open this because it ain't. It ain't nothing that gotta take me trying to figure out what it is. You know what I mean? <laughs> hmm. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna. Mmm. I'm gonna get a little bit of water. Don't get some of my stuff. What is that? Y'all, this is the bird. I know y'all like Erica. Wait a minute. The butter soaked through the napkin. Y'all see that? Even when I try to protect myself, Lord. I don't want to put back on that black shirt. I'm tired of that black shirt. I'm tired of looking at that black shirt. And it's hot. Okay. Thank you for joining me at the dinner party. All my new beautiful people. And all my beautiful people that's been at every single dinner party, I appreciate you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. 
Brandon, happy birthday, babe. Um, oh, and everybody, I know you like one more thing. One more thing. If you could drop balloons down in the comments for Brandon, I would appreciate it. And I will see you guys. We pray that this thumbnail come out good because I don't know what it's going to look like. Because I don't know what I'm doing in life for real. <laughs> but I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!